Now we're live. Hey, everyone. I have said, unbeknownst to you, hi, like four times. We're live on the live stream? We're live on the live stream. Oh, so I should put on a microphone? That would be good. <laughs> and drop cam audio is on. Okay. Uh, we are just waiting for Apple to start their event. Uh, I'm setting up my live blogs now. But I don't seem to I don't seem to be on the right page is the problem. Do you think they'll start on Ladies time? And gentlemen. They usually do. They like usually last time late, aren't they? No, the usually they're pretty they were, they last year they had problems. major problems. Take this phone Not last year, but like a couple times. couple months ago. Yeah. Right. <laughs> time, it's just that we had to sit up here and be like, oh hi, well let's just talk about <laughs> other things because <laughs> we can't access anything. Let's from talk Apple. about Doritos. Yes. Ooh, that's a topic. <laughs> Uh, Geek Beat Live on Thursday? Well, not really at Geek Beat Live. We're just live streaming the Apple event. Oh, they're on stage. Where? Why not? Why don't we see them? Oh, wait. No. Hold on. There's a guy talking. Never mind. Everybody's turned their cell phones off. I, I misread something. Is that better? False alarm. Yeah. Testing. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? No. They can probably hear you through my microphone. They hear me through microphone. your microphone. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Isn't that like a Ross Perot quote? Can you hear me can now? I, can oh. I finish? Oh, that's just, uh, George Bush. Can Is it Ross Perot? Ross Perot. Can yeah. I finish? Can, Larry, can I finish? It's a grassroots effort. <laughs> Why can we hear music? Um, probably because you're hearing the live stream. Sure. Or you just have music in your uh, in your ear, in your mind. Maybe you need to go see a doctor. And like Taylor Swift, you're especially you can't get musical. it out. Like Taylor Swift, what? You can't get it out. You have music, and you're going to to said. go with it. Okay. Uh, it was a it was a poor reference to a, a new song of hers. It was it was bad. Just ignore me. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Uh, I hope it is not going to be another Apple stream fail, Cameron, but uh, I would assume that one time getting it screwed up would fix would fix it. Somebody in, in the Apple campus would uh, fix the problem. I see you have your Apple shirt on. I was looking for something to wear today, and I haven't quite done laundry yet, so I thought it would be appropriate. Mm. <laughs> it is appropriate. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, where do you want me? This is good, right? So, uh, we have a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. We do? Having nothing to do, you're eating your hair. Am I? Yeah. Having nothing to do with the live, Apple live stream, we have a lot of stuff going on. We do? I have nothing going on. I don't know what you're talking about. Well. I'm doing nothing. Sure. <laughs> Today or tomorrow. We're gonna get our. We're gonna get the lift in here. Oh yeah! Tomorrow, Keith comes to install our electric hoists. <laughs> that just sounds so freaking awesome! <laughs> electric hoists. It's going to be awesome. For this place, this place is gonna be loaded with winches. Yeah, we're gonna have winches <laughs> yeah, not everywhere. Not just one. We'll now have five. That's right. So we're gonna have four electric hoists installed, and. Um, then we're going to attach ye old truss trussing to the to, to the, the hoists. hoists, and then we will literally be able to raise it and lower it to mess with it. Like so, if we need to attach a new light to it, or camera, or if route just, cables. If we just want to swing. Yeah, if we want to all we just hang on it and get lifted off the ground. We could do that. Ooh, can we do that? Ooh, that's fun. We could fun. do that. Actually, those, Plug. those winches or those hoists are how uh -huh. much? How much? 2,000 pounds per? Well, no, they're like 1,300 pounds each, and there'll be four of them. Right. So, so we could we could basically put a vehicle in there and pick it up Ooh, with the hoists. That'd be awesome. Yeah, let's try it with uh, Callie's car. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case something goes wrong. Uh, Crash and burn. <laughs> Robert says, I hope John P. isn't doing the install. Nice. <laughs> Actually, he will be. And it will go smoothly. <laughs> I have all the faith in the world. I'm good at fabricating stuff. You just don't want me near your electronics. In including news stories. <laughs> That's right. I'm good at fabricating news stories. Right. I'm excellent at that, actually. 
So yeah, so the start the, the yawn count. Yeah, the winch arrives like today or tomorrow morning. Keith comes to do that. Uh, then, after he gets the uh, hoists up, he's got to run power and do all kinds of craziness. I figure that'll take him most of the day tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, I told him we got our live stream at three o'clock, but who knows? We might have to. We might have some construction noise in the background of our live stream. That's okay. That is all right. We will make a show out of it. Yeah, we'll just turn the cameras and show what he's doing when he makes noise. Yeah. Because at some point tomorrow, I expect to be able to hoist myself to the ceiling. Nice. Using an I'm electric joining you. <laughs> Your phone is on vibrate. I don't think that I will really do that. I feel like that might be a tad unsafe. Uh, but I could. Apple employees, have they started the... We're not, not getting any live. We don't. We don't get anything yet. Um. So, Jenny, yes, we did do a vlog um, past that one about my nephew. So uh, that's on YouTube. What are you talking about? Your nephew? What? Yeah, I did a vlog. That's the on number two. Mm. I have not gotten any sleep lately. Ah, uh, here we go. Apple employees just yelling up at school. Oh, okay. Brand new releases. They do oh, that. Oh, that was the you... countdown. Nice. Oh, that was the uh, that was the first guy to go in and buy one. Was well, that the guy who dropped 6? his? Yeah, he <laughs> went out, interview, <laughs> crashed, <laughs> dropped the first one. Everybody taking pictures, pictures of themselves, pictures yeah. of other people. I think it's funny that uh, the only thing that we care about our phones for anymore is treating them like cameras. I don't care. I care about my phone for all sorts of things. Oh, do you? Like um, making grocery lists. Oh, do you make your grocery list on your phone? I do. What do you, what app do you use for that? Um, Freenote. You use Freenote for that? Yeah, and okay. my S Pen. As we're talking about Samsung on an Apple string. <laughs> but you you actually physically write your notes? Yeah. That is so. <laughs> do you know that it's 2014? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's see what he's got to say. Good morning. Thanks everyone for joining us this morning. It's been an incredible year and tremendously busy already. But we've got a few more things to share with you before we close out the year. As you saw from the video, we had an amazing reception to the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus launch. The stores were absolutely electrifying with energy. It was unbelievable. There was no better place on earth to be. <laughs> These okay. phones are the best phones we have ever created. And the reviews have been off the charts. It doesn't get any clearer or any better than this review from one of the industry's preeminent reviewers. Walt the Mossberg said simply, oh, come on. It's the best smartphone on He's the, the He is their number yeah, one lackey. Oh, did you just call Walt Mossberg? Yes, he is. He wrote, the frickin', he wrote what's his name's biography, okay? I mean, oh, that's right. Come yeah. on. And a great <laughs> customer response. It's no wonder that these iPhones have become the fastest selling iPhones in history. And the first 30 days, we have set a new high water mark for the mo most orders taken. And I don't Trouble mean by mark. a little. They did a typo on By Bend. a lot. Best a whole phone. lot. Bend. Huh? What? Typo on Bend, like right? best phone. It was a typo. Our rollout best around the world Bend. is going well. I think. In fact, by the end of this week, we'll be in 32 countries. And just in a few hours from now, we will launch in China. With support for TD LTE and FDD LTE, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus customers will have access to China's 
fastest networks on all three major networks. This is the very first time we've launched a new iPhone on all three networks, and we're doing it perfectly aligned to the early stages of China's huge 4G rollout. We couldn't be more excited about this, and I would tell you that the pre-orders, as you might guess, have set a new record. We can't wait to get started. Which is amazing because these With things are expensive. what's going on in China? Yes. And relative to what's Chinese income here? levels? And the other wow. Right. around the world and all of the reviews and the customer response. This is our biggest iPhone launch ever. <laughs> wait, now does he mean it's the biggest iPhone <laughs> launch ever or the biggest it is iPhone the biggest launch? IPhone. <laughs> Launch ever. So that's a quick update on iPhone. I think he emphasized now, each word. The iPhone is about the same. It's so. the benefit of another major announcement that we made last month. And of course, I'm talking about Apple Pay, which is right. an entirely new way to pay for things in stores and in apps. Yeah, that's cool. It is very Apple cool. You Pay were very excited built about right that. Right into Passbook, integrated right in. And everything you need is built into iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. It's an easy, it's secure, and yes, it's a private way to pay for things. We think that it is going to be profound. We're getting going in the United States. We've got all three major networks supporting us, and we have all of the nation's top banks supporting us. And just since last month announcing this, we have signed another 500 banks. Wow. wow. They will be rolling out support later this year and early next year, showing the support and the, the enthusiasm around Apple Pay. We've got many of the largest retailers in the country supporting us. And as you might guess, since we announced last month, there's even more that will be rolling out between now and the end of the year. Now, Apple Pay also works I saw McDonald's. online uh, in apps. You can you buy always products spot McDonald's, and services don't you? right in the app. And it's pretty simple. Find those pair of Beats headphones you want, and boom, you've bought them. <laughs> I've been nice. wanting these a long time, and Jimmy won't give me a pair. <laughs> We've got a lot of people behind us here as well. Panera. A lot of great uh, apps and a lot of great developers. Starbucks. And as you might guess, since last month, many more people have committed to roll out between now and the end of the year. Oh, hotels so we night. believe Apple Event, Pay right. is going to be huge. It's going to change the way we pay for things. And I'm excited to announce today that we are beginning on Monday. What do you mean? Beginning what? Beginning the rollout? I don't know. Let's see. The journey begins and we can't wait. Now also last month, we announced an entirely new category. Of course I'm talking about Apple Watch. It's the most personal device we've ever created. You can wear this powerful technology right on your wrist and it's just as much about personal expression as it is about functionality. We've had great reception from the tech community. Rick, they but always spend about 15 minutes going over yeah, old, old older stuff, stuff and yeah, sales. Yeah. And yeah. That's just the way they do it. And, the, and you know, it's interesting because they are so, they choose the words so carefully. This watch is the most personal product Apple has ever put out. The most personal. Really? More personal than somebody's laptop that they sit and watch porn with. That's more personal than that, huh? Well, they, I mean, they, I, they we're going to be go honest, there. okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. So I don't know about more personal, but uh, the, it's interesting because that's the exact same language we saw on the last when they announced it. Personal. And they were like, this is the most personal thing well, ever. They, I don't understand. It's well, because I mean, everything that they release has to be the most of something. And so they're out of they're out of things, right? It's the most well personal. It's is the not, most round thing we've ever produced. Personal is not a bad word. No, it's not. It, it is. It just doesn't mean anything. 
Well. It's meaningless to me. As far as I'm concerned, it's meaningless. It's a watch. It's a badass watch. But they should have said. If it's going to be part of your everyday activities, yeah. that's what they mean. They What they should have said is, this is the most badass product we've ever released. That's what they should have said. <laughs> Can you see him doing that? All right, let's see what he's saying. The watch will be shipping in early next year, and every day I look forward to that day. Yeah, because they're going to set new sales records when oh, that thing yeah. comes out. Oh, yeah, they are. I'll buy one. You going to so switch to Apple? Let's updates around iPhone? iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus. Maybe I can use it with an iPad. Uh, Apple Pay and Apple Watch. Uh, they join an incredible product lineup, one that I would call our strongest product lineup ever. Each of these products are not only individually the best in class within its category, but they've been designed to work seamlessly together. Look how thin they are. Yeah. If you and were paying by weight, you'd be pissed. By the most <laughs> advanced operating systems mm -hmm. on the planet, iOS 8 and OS 10 Yosemite. Today, we've got some terrific updates on both of these and to tell you all about them. I'd like to turn the stage over to Craig Federighi. Craig? All right, let's hear what the new, new stuff. Is this new? Or are we just going to uh, hear the yeah. same old no, stuff? No, we're going to. Uh... He's a good looking guy, isn't he? Well, iOS 8 yes, he has is. been out for just under a month. And I'd like to give you a quick update. Now, update iOS first. 8, of course, is a major new operating system <laughs> for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. And the early reviews have been just great. The Wall Street Journal said that iOS 8 pulls Again out with the Wall Street Journal. By leveraging I like the, Wall the greatest Journal. strengths. The Wall the Street Journal is the most Apple-biased Apple publication it's on the planet. Just how many well, if you were them, would you not use the best possible quotes you could get? I would, and if I was <laughs> Wall Street Journal, I would <laughs> keep <laughs> saying good <laughs> things because every time <laughs> Apple gets exactly. up here, they, they give them free press. Exactly. They won't even let us in, but they'll give them free press. US users are running an operating system that shipped <clears throat> just over the last year which means they're getting the latest features and all the latest security protections. Now, the situation <laughs> Tony B with said, other mobile but first, platforms is Let's hear U2's different. new single. So, <laughs> when you look at Android, for instance, the vast majority of customers are running an operating system that's more than two years old. And if you focus just on KitKat, the latest release, after 313 days, they'd achieved just 25% penetration of their user base iOS 8 has nearly doubled that. Yeah, but if it doesn't need it, why do they make these needless comparisons? Be because they're also comparing now to a much bigger ecosystem of devices. Right. I mean, there's a lot of different Android mm -hmm. devices that don't need an update. Now, iOS 8 is a major feature release with something for all of our customers. Things like tap to talk and easy location sharing and messages. Our new quick type keyboard with smart predictive typing suggestions. And family sharing that makes it easy to share your calendars, your to-dos, your photos, and even your purchases on the App Store and the iTunes Store. But what really sets iOS 8 apart is all the incredible technologies that it puts in the hands of our developers. It's amazing what they've done with them. And let's take a look. We'll start with extensions. We've seen an absolute <laughs> flood of updates to the App Store with applications improving their functionality via extensions. So now, with iOS 8, when you swipe down from the top of your phone to get into your Today View, you have access not just to the system's built-in widgets, but also these great third-party widgets as well. And when it comes to sharing, you of course have all of the system sharing options, but also those of the third-party apps you use the most. And so with just a single tap, for instance, from almost anywhere in the system, you can post uh, to Evernote. Now, we've also like added support we for third-party like actions, the ability to edit your photos using third-party filters without even leaving the Photos app, and access to your documents, not just in iCloud, but also in Box and Dropbox and just about any other box where you happen to put some files. Nice. Now, <laughs> we have also box. have support for third-party keyboards. So whether you like to type by swiping your finger over the screen or 
enrich the life of your friends with sending them animated GIFs. Nice. Or communicate in your native language of Klingon, <laughs> iOS 8 has you covered. Believe do it or not, really this is Klingon? actually in the App Store. So, I guess they do. He <laughs> said it's in the App Store. He said they have Klingon in the App Store. Nice. So next up, HealthKit. Developers have really embraced HealthKit. So when you're taking a run or cycling with Strava, all of the data about your workout, activity data goes into your health profile and HealthKit. With apps like LifeSum, they're able to combine activity information with information about your eating habits to make a custom diet <laughs> recommendations. Uh, and I'm getting bored from the endless commercial at the beginning of this. Which you're able to take your profile. Yeah, we might need some more donuts. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we've all, we've really, heard, now we've we're just hearing it. we're just hearing about apps and things. Well, I'm, not, I'm not interested in this. Let's, I'm not really sure what else they can say about iOS 8 that they haven't said, but uh, we shall see. With the security and the convenience of your fingerprint, and then there's Metal. With Metal, you get direct access to the power of the 64-bit A7 A8 and the amazing GPUs they have inside. And so whether you're racing around the track in Asphalt 8, creeping around the rooftops in Assassin's Creed Identity, or slashing your way through Gods of Rome, you can do so with unparalleled visual fidelity, things you've never seen on mobile platforms. <laughs> Next is Swift an entirely new programming language that we introduced to take development of iOS and OS X apps to the next level. Now, Wired has said that Swift's impact could be greater than any other language that has sprung up in recent years, and it may achieve mass adoption faster than any language in modern history. And from everything we can see, they are right. We've seen a flood of applications written in Swift in the App Store already. Can you imagine and our whose job it is partner, to come IBM, up with all those, choose those logos? Swift those icons. For their yep. custom enterprise applications. So in who fact, do we want to feature? Swift is incredibly interactive and intuitive, giving the thousands of developers on our teams the flexibility. Does he to work at the Wall Street Journal? IBM fellow. I know, but does he? That means mobility. he was with IBM. Like an IBM fellow is like right. one of the smart guys. At IBM is he now like? A consultant for the Wall Street Journal? <laughs> they get wired some press. Oh, do they? Okay. Yeah. There'll be many new Swift programmers being minted every day because major universe or universities have incorporated wired Swift into their program yeah, wired <laughs> the Wall Street Journal. to teach new Look, students it's SMU. Awesome nice. Language. They're in Dallas. Yes, they are. It's a update on iOS 8. It wasn't that quick, but that's <laughs> okay. To iOS 8.1. Oh, is this new? Is this new? Uh, a major no, think... new operating system in the hands Didn't of hundreds they of millions announced of users. That a while back? We do get a little bit of feedback. And that takes us to improvement. I don't have 8.1. So one of our major uh, goals, of course, with iOS 8.1 well, is to, to address about it before, the though. top sources Didn't of they? customer feedback. And of course, to even bring the, back now? the beloved camera roll. This is the future. But not just that. We've added support in 8.1 for Apple Pay on okay. iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. And a the public beta of iCloud Photo Library. So now everyone can have every photo you take on all of your devices. And this means that any organization you do or any edits you make on any device are instantly reflected on all of your devices. And this is true on your iPhone, your iPad. And you can even access your photo library on your Mac or on your PC via iCloud.com. In fact, now this isn't just your, your photos. Your photos may your randomly appear well. publicly across the entire internet on occasion. <laughs> no downscaling. It's available in public beta with iOS 8.1, and it uses your iCloud storage. So your first five gigabytes are free. For just 99 cents, you can get 20 gigabytes more, and you can get a massive 200 gigabytes for just 3.99. So that's iOS 8.1 and a quick update on iOS 8. Now let's turn to OS 10 mm -hmm. and Yosemite. So it was just this June that we publicly unveiled Yosemite to the world. The reception has been fantastic. We've had over a million members of the Mac community sign up to be part of the Yosemite public beta. How do I get and it? The reception has been just awesome. Um, We're all in love with the gorgeous new <laughs> design of Yosemite. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. It has this gorgeous dock with these vibrant icons, it's so precise, this clean, 
and consistent <laughs> use of typography is a little throughout boring, the system. Including us. Notification center is more <laughs> useful than ever. Let you get at all of your widgets just at a glance, including third Even party Ken, content. Even Ken, who is like major Apple fanboy, yeah. was like, why is this so a live streamed event? This Locally should have been a press and release. And also taps uh, well, with anybody else, this would be a couple of press releases. Right. Wikipedia, just right there whenever you need them. And of course, all of the apps built into Yosemite have been completely revitalized with this new UI. So Safari, go there. for instance, all the power of the oh, world's most powerful browser. Hey, I didn't allow them to take that, that picture of my vacation right home in uh, <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> all of your favorites, just tap in the address field. They're right there. And if you start <clears> typing, <throat> you don't just get Google search suggestions, you also get spotlight suggestions, which often provide the answer to your question without even completing the search. It's just really fast. I do like that. Now, Safari's better at sharing we have than ever it. as well. You can share to system sources and through extensions to third uh, and, and Google's are all services. connected and out there for anyone and you can share it with anybody and stuff like that. And yeah. that's that's what's difficult for Mac users like us who have their documents in these particular applications and they're just kind of stuck on your machine. Yeah. Having to work under extreme duress, even a Windows PC. So now So those are just some of the wonderful new user features in Yosemite. But actually what makes both Yosemite and iOS 8 so special is the way that they work together. <laughs> now working together is something we've been focused on for years now and at the center of it is iCloud. It's almost easy to take for granted the way we can edit our contacts or update our calendar or to-dos or a Safari bookmarks and we just know that it's going to be available to us across all of our devices. And now, with Yosemite and iOS 8, all of our documents with iCloud Drive and all of our photos and videos are synced with our iCloud photo library. We've also advanced on technologies for our devices to communicate in proximity, taking advantage of the most advanced Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy technologies. So now, with the latest Macs and iOS devices, you can actually airdrop between iOS and OS 10, And you can AirPlay to your uh, Apple TV even without connecting to any Wi-Fi network. It's really awesome. <clears throat> but the area where I think we've really taken it over the top is with something we call continuity. Now with continuity, your devices are aware of each other and allow you to work at any moment with the device that's right for that time. It starts with handoff where you can work on one device and just pick up where you left off with just a swipe across the lock screen. That is awesome. Another. This is... And there's instant hotspot. Yes. So you can take advantage of the cellular data connection of your phone from your iPad or your Mac without even touching the phone in your bag. And there's the ability to receive text messages How's that on any device. So not just your iMessages, I guess but you're also select you can from the menu SMSs from, your from your any computer. of your devices. And finally, you can also make and receive regular telephone calls using your Mac as a speaker phone. That's awesome. Using your yeah, phone. I do Love like that. It. It's really magical. And to drive that home, I'd like to give you a demo now. It's amazing how much applause they get. All right. Well, so let's out. take a, a look at life in the uh, in the world of uh, continuity. Well, it's because the, the uh, uh, audience is loaded with Apple employees, so we expect. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the Wall, Wall Street, Street Journal, Journal and Apple employees. Security, or secrecy, rather, that uh, makes a, the announcements at an event like today a, a shocking revelation to all of you. Um, so I've been uh, tasked to create a new employee orientation presentation. Uh, and so I've been taking some photos around campus about some of our new uh, secrecy measures. We're tightening things down a little bit. So we see we're redacting some things in the, uh, the menu. We don't want any, any leaks there. Um, we've upgraded the door to Johnny's lab. Nice. And, you know, I should favorite some of these photos because I think I'd like to incorporate them in my presentation. Um, we're saving a step with the printer. It just goes straight into the shredder. Right. <laughs> That's funny. And, of course, we've increased the number of lasers on the path to the bathroom. Nice. So that's good. So 
I can uh, incorporate this right here in my presentation. We've got my cover slide here. Tripling down on security. And, uh, this looks like a good place to add that new content. But you know, I actually have my iPad right here, and what's really great is with continuity, I can just pick up where I left off. You notice in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, uh, my iPad's aware of what I've been doing on my phone. There's a little keynote icon. I can just swipe up, and it takes me right to that document in exactly the place where I was working. So That's it awesome. right where I am. And I'm just going to open this up, and we'll see that I can see my, uh, my photos here. Uh, let me try that again. There we go. There are, my, there are the fo uh, photos I just favorited. And just to show you that this is all uh, completely live, I'm going to go back into uh, my photo library here. I'm going to favorite this last photo with the lasers, give it a little heart. And you'll notice here in, on the iPad, it just shows nice. up automatically right there. That, that is cool. wonderful. Now, show me taking it to the laptop. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Cool. So let's, let's just add that photo to my presentation. And, you know, while I'm working on my iPad, I, my phone could even be across the house. And if I were to receive uh, an SMS, for instance, I could pick it up. Oh, here it is. What a coincidence. Uh, right here on my iPad, this is a regular SMS. Now it says, hey, Craig, check out the latest April rumor. Uh -oh. Well, these are usually have no merit at all, but I'll just yeah. check in as what this is all right. about. Uh -huh. Apple spaceship, actual <laughs> spaceship. Okay, well, it turns out in this case, unfortunately, they, they did nail it. So um, <laughs> this would be a good one to add as a cautionary tale to my presentation. And I can do that right here on my iPad, but you know, I've got this beautiful Mac right here. Let me just pick up where I left off on the Mac. So we'll just look at the Mac display, and you notice the Mac is aware of what I've been doing. If only I could right touch the here. screen. It says that I was using Safari on my iPad. I click and it takes would be me awesome, right to that same page. It's Nobody would want a touch screen and of course I can get to my I mean, desktop no, as well. Definitely not. You see I have iCloud Drive right here in the Finder. And there's my keynote folder. <clears throat> and of course, there's my presentation on secrecy at Apple. So I can open that up. And of course, it takes me exactly to where I was in the presentation. So let's um, add my picture for about uh, controlling leaks. I can just drop that one uh, right in there. That's nice. really cool. And uh, so next, I'm going to move on to the next slide in my presentation. Um, and you know, I heard that nice. our new chief of secrecy, uh, Stephen Colbert, has some concerns about his part of the presentation. And so actually, I can give him a call from my Mac uh, right here at his office. So let's just uh, type up Stephen. There's his work number. And I can just dial right here. And it's going to dial. My Mac's going to actually make a speakerphone call through my phone. And by the way, yeah, I have the coolest they didn't show his phone number. I get to talk to Stephen Colbert. Hi, Stephen. It's Craig from Apple. I'm sorry. I don't recognize that name. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Hello, Red Delicious. This is Granny Smith. Over. Is the squirrel in the basket? <laughs> Roger Foxtrot Thunderbolt Retina Swift Lightning. <laughs> content of your presentation today. Specifically, I've got a big problem with my title. Well, uh, Chief Secrecy Up. Oh. 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 No. What? Hang on. Is that us? No. Sir, that's a pretty impressive title. Go. Okay. I just don't think it's big enough to capture how important my role is at Apple. <laughs> Let me run this one by you. <clears throat> Hear me out. Supreme Allied Commander of Super Secrecy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Craig, if Supreme Allied Commander was good enough for Ike, it's good enough for me. <laughs> okay, it beat Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I would also accept Intergalactic Chancellor. Intergalactic <laughs> Chancellor. How about yes. Supreme Commander? You'll let him know? Uh, okay. <laughs> You'll let him know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean Chairman Honeycrisp. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I will, let, I will let the chairman know. <laughs> Glad you see things my way. Now, uh, please, get back to work. Because you know what I see when I look at my wrist? Nothing. My wrist. <laughs> chop, chop. I am jonesing from some jewelry, Craig. Uh, I'll, I'll get right on it, Stephen. <laughs> Over and out, Granny Smith. Over and out, Red Delicious.
delicious. <laughs> that was good. Uh, you gotta love Stephen Colbert. Yeah. I'm glad we were able to sort that out. So, we, uh, I have one more slide to work on my presentation here. Oh, an email update from Phil uh, about a new badging protocol. So check out this video. It really demonstrates Apple's commitment to badging excellence. Well, that's great. I'm going to drop that one in my presentation. You know, I'm sure it's a great video. So I, I'd, I'd like to play this now. And what's really cool is I have an Apple TV. We can bring that up here. And we can see I can actually airplay from my Mac uh, to my Apple TV, just like this and project uh, my presentation uh, that way so we can enjoy the, the presentation I've put together. And of course, to control the presentation, you know, the best remote you have is the one you're wearing on your wrist. Yeah. So. I knew it. Of course. Let's bring up a remote here. Let's see. So uh, there's our secrecy team. Of course, we've got the path to the bathroom. Although, uh, controlling I would leaks. not want to use that as a remote. I would. Supreme Commander. Uh, when I'm and doing presentations, let's look at that video I Phil. want it just quietly by my side. I don't want to have to go like. Bam. I would do it. Bam. Bam. Let's see this. The secret handshakes. <laughs> 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 nice. See you lunch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's like, nope, you don't get in. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, was good, man. that was awesome. They're doing a really good job at being humorous you know, in their presentations these days. Yeah. All right. So, so this is just a quick overview of the amazing new Yosemite release from its beautiful new design, powerful spotlight search, iCloud Drive. Oh! By the way, I'm installing Yosemite right now as cool. we speak. Maybe, I've already maybe that's the problem. John. I downloaded five. No, I already downloaded the five gigabytes <laughs> worth of files, and it's been installing. But it's still okay. I got 18 minutes left. Uh, nice. Hey, Ken, I might need my power adapter. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's, uh, <laughs> my battery's running a little bit low yeah. here. Uh, so I guess we got a frozen. We yeah. got a frozen. I know it's not on our end, folks, because so, we have a gigabit of internet connectivity. So by the way, the new iWork suite drops today. Does it? And yes. Also Here we go. Free. That is my oh no! Now we got a problem with syncing and uh, all that other stuff. Yeah. All right. So oh, uh, they're about to talk about iPads. So like right now, I right mean, we went through all that stuff now. that was not new. Right. And now, now, when we get to the new stuff, we're gonna have it crash. That seems to be what's happening. Yes. Oh, brother. Brother. Where's Ken? <laughs> All right, we're trying to reboot it or something, guys. In the meantime, iPad oh, is this simple? Here we go. And magical device. <clears throat> no, we're not. <laughs> Don't. <sighs> <sighs> nice, brother. Okay, uh, from Apple's custom design, powerful chips to the ultra-fast cellular. It's always been a unique <laughs> blend of simplicity nice and capability. Yeah. But while the iPad has been beautifully simple on the outside since the very first one, it has advanced technology just jam-packed on the inside. From Apple's custom-designed powerful chips to the ultra-fast Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity to the incredible iSight and FaceTime cameras. The technology is jam-packed in this incredibly thin and light package that you can take with you everywhere you go <laughs> and use all day long. And as we've packed more and more power and more and more performance and more capability in iPad, our customers and developers don't. <laughs> 
and he's lulling me to sleep with this. He needs to like step up the energy after, a little. After he's the humor. like, let me tell you about the soothing. He's talking you a little I've too had. slowly. <laughs> it's not surprising we that we've sold more iPads in the first four years than we've sold at any product in our history. In fact, we've sold over 225 million. <laughs> that is an impressive number. That is. That is a lot of iPads. That is a lot. And, uh, yeah. Now I keep thinking, iPads oh, here we go. Every time. <laughs> right. to, to put this in a little more perspective, if you look at the top four by volume, PC manufacturers, the number of sales that they've done for the last 12 months and compare that to iPad, iPad beats them all. And this is their entire PC lineup, every notebook, every desktop, every two-in-one, every all-in. Uh. Uh. Ken, I that's not on our end, is it? No. Yeah. I don't know what's going they on started with their out, streaming Last time stuff, they started out rough really and bad. then they cleared up. Right. This time they started out just fine. fine and we thought everything was good, but. It's odd though. I mean, are they broadcasting from different locations now that they haven't worked? Yeah, this, this is from, this the campus, from the campus, right. But the question is who's their CDN? You know, they, they're using some kind of content distribution network and uh, Whoever that is must be choking badly right, right. now. Somebody's, iCloud. somebody, yes. <laughs> Hopefully it's not iCloud, but uh, you never know. So Robert says it's your end. I have no issues. Well, that CDN stretches around the world. Yeah, where are you, where are you watching it, Robert? And you have such a great experience doing it. Paul says his direct Apple this, stream is still going, too. We have over 675,000 apps in the App Store that have been custom designed to take advantage of the big, beautiful screen on iPad. And this is a huge advantage over our competition. The Verge said it well. A tablet is only as good as what you can do with it. And thanks to the hundreds of thousands of apps for the iPad Air, you can do more with it than any other tablet. This was one of the reasons they named the iPad Air the best tablet you can buy. So iPad Air is number one in customer sat, but it's also number one in usage. It's number one in education. It's number one in enterprise. It's number one in consumer. When we, had, when we launched the iPad Air just a year ago, we did so by showing that all of this power of the iPad was in a design that was so thin, it was thinner than a pencil. You may remember It's hiding this. behind the pencil? I guess. So I what don't remember do you do picture. when you I make either. I guess it's the hiding best behind it. tablet in the world? Make another? How do you make it better? He pauses too long. Do this. Well, that was way too long of a pause. You do this, you do this. go black? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. I shall return. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Slice it down. I guess they're slicing it in half, or no, not quite. Just that first edge. Right. All right, so it's even thinner. <laughs> Tony, do you love Android on it? <laughs> nice. This. This is the new iPad Air 2. Uh, they chopped off the first top, the hot top of a pencil. And it's as thin as that. See it. <laughs> it is so incredible. And to tell you more about it, how like much does it Bill bend? Ah. Bill? 
How much can you bend it? That's my question. Oh, they're not going to talk about that. Come on. Yeah, do right, they come right. bent already? Are they pre bend Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be able to tell you about the incredible new it's iPad Air 2. It's 18% thinner. It is the thinnest iPad we have ever made, just 6.1 millimeters thin. That's 18% thinner than their first iPad Air, which was already 20% thinner than the iPad before it. It makes it the world's thinnest tablet. It is incredibly beautiful. I'm not hold, sure if that is alone. better or not yet. The progress the team has made over just the last couple of years is unbelievable. Here's the original Thank first you. iPad next to the new iPad Air 2. The new iPad Air 2 is so thin, you can stack two of them and still be thinner than the original iPad. It is amazing. Well, well you can't really compare to the original. Mm. What the team has done to pack so much technology mm, and performance like into the thinnest iPad is unbelievable. So how did they do it? Well, let's start with the display. The display is made up of a number of components, primarily the LCD, the touch layer, and glass. And in every iPad, there's been a micro thin layer of air between each of those layers. I'm not satisfied with that. The team has optically bonded those together, laminated them to make a single component with no air gap. And that reduces, reduces the internal reflection and makes a sharper image and a thinner display. That's cool. It makes yeah. the graphics and the text feel like they sit right on top and you're touching them with your finger. It's really beautiful. In addition, We've now created an anti-reflective coating for this multi-touch surface. I like anti-reflective. This anti -reflective. has never been done in a tablet <laughs> before. Everybody does, It reduces does, reflections by 56%, making it even more beautiful as an image. So it is an incredible display. It is the only tablet that has this kind of a surface and has the lowest reflectivity of any tablet. I might have to upgrade. So this will be the best <sighs> tablet display you've ever seen in the thinnest tablet. Just because of the screen? But there's so much more that makes it iPad yeah, that Air 2 awesome. great. It starts with the brains inside it. A whole new generation chip, A8X. You've heard of the A8 chip with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and it's blowing people away. Well, this is a new version created specifically for iPad Air 2. It is unbelievable. It's a second generation 64-bit architecture. It has three, three billion, billion transistors. transistors. The iPad Air had an A7 with one billion transistors. Wow. wow. Three billion delivers up to 40% faster CPU performance for most of your apps. Some apps can achieve 2x performance in CPU. And the graphics are out of this world. Two and a half times faster what was already the industry leading graphic performance. I hope we get that in the iPad Just Mini too. Just look the team has done. Yeah, we'll the see. The original iPad started with an A4 chip, and now we're 12 times faster than that with iPad Air 2. But check out this graphics performance. We're now at 180 times faster. Wow. Add to that the work the software team is doing with technologies like Metal to let developers get full access to that performance without any software overhead. And we're able to now deliver console level graphics in the palm of your hand. And that's what a lot of the developers are doing. We're working with game developers and they're now bringing the engines, not from their mobile gaming, but from their desktop gaming systems right onto iPad Air 2. And all this power in such a thin package the team has worked to ensure that you have that great all-day battery life, 10 hours of battery, so you don't have to give up any of that. My, my I, the I can play uh, we have the new M8. Uh, Angry oh, no. Birds oh, really no. fast works for 10 hours. <laughs> the sensors like the accelerometer and the gyroscope. Mm, yeah, I don't think you need and to. And it instantly calibrates it so all your apps get incredibly accurate data. And there's also the new barometer for res me measuring relative elevation, and developers can take advantage of that, too. For perhaps, That's cool. The feature people love the most about their iPads is the camera. Is like it? The nice like camera. Now, some people have been surprised by most? that, but it really makes a lot of sense. The iPad is the best viewfinder for composing your photos and your videos. Yeah, but are you going to give us the, the scene, decent camera with the optical photos, image stabilization? You can edit them right on the device and share them instantly with people around the world. And not only do we all like taking pictures and, and videos, but developers like taking advantage of these cameras to build incredible applications that haven't existed on any other platform. Things like applications for helping coaches train their players with coach's eye. 
or consumer apps like Prismo that lets you scan and translate documents on the fly. By the way, Paul is like asking Caribou me if I would take more battery over a thinner device. Yes. From anywhere around the oh, world. Yes. Or Home Styler that lets you create a virtual reality image of your own home and lay out the furniture interior design of it. This and hundreds of more applications take full advantage of the cameras we build into the iPad. And they, the developers and the customers who use these apps are going to love the new iSight camera. It's a huge jump forward for iPad. It's a full new 8 megapixel iSight camera. It has large 1.12 micron pixels, has a fast 2.4 aperture. It takes photos and 1080p HD video. It has a great sensor. It's combined with the Apple design lens, but really what rounds it out is the brains behind it all. The image signal processing that's done in that 8x. But we don't get the optical image stabilization. No, it doesn't show look like it. Now that we're taking with an iPad Air 2 unretouched right off of it and tell me you're not going to be blown away that these were taken with an iPad. Look at that photo. That's a beautiful landscape scene. You can see the quality of the auto HDR that creates amazing exposure. Look at the low noise in that blue sky. It is a remarkable photo. Here's another. People are just not going to believe. I want to do that. With the iPad you bring with Hang you. Hang in the trees. Work, yeah. And taking incredible photos with it. Here's a shot from above the Golden Gate Bridge. You see the incredible accurate color it delivers and the great depth of field. Here's my favorite of the bunch. It's a portrait photo. The skin tones are just perfect. The background is painterly. It's an amazing photo. Of course, we all love taking macros and showing dimples. them to the world. Here's a great one. Look at the level of detail in the feathers. You can't tell. Is that taxidermy or live? <laughs> Don't worry, it's live. <laughs> For the first time with iPad, you can take large panoramas up to 43 megapixels. So you take your iPad on vacation, you can share your mountain scenery with all your friends. For the first time on iPad, you can take burst photo, mode photos. So taking something that has high speed action, you can grab it, just like this photo. Yeah, is that incredible? For the first time with the iPad iSight camera, you can do time lapse. So here's a time lapse. It's taken in Venice. You maybe nice. recognize it. Now, there's a group of boats that are going to start coming down together. See, there they are. That was the George Clooney wedding party that came by as we were shooting that. <laughs> Still waiting Did for my Did they invitation. stalk George Clooney? In I order guess so. To this we took recently that. in Albuquerque. That's awesome. Oh, that's at cool. the Balloon Fiesta, that gathering there. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> nice. Also, for the first time on iPad, you can do slow mo videos. Yeah, customers are going to love taking How many videos. frames per second? Frames per second oh, at 720p. Pretty cool. Nice. You heard that audio. There's now dual microphones to get better quality audio in your videos as well. That's nice. Yeah. Well, in addition to the all new iSight camera and all those capabilities, there's a new FaceTime camera on the front side as well. A whole new FaceTime camera sensor has a larger 2.2 aperture, lets in 80% more light. And combined with the 8X chip, you get improved face detection. For the first time, you can do burst selfies, which kids love to do. This chip <laughs> is amazing. It does HDR with a single image, not combining multiple images, which keeps it really right. sharp. And you can do videos with HDR as well. So with all these great new cameras, all this great new performance, also faster connectivity too. iPad Air 2 is faster Wi-Fi, 802.11ac with MIMO. That delivers 2.8 times faster performance, about wow. 866 megabit per second. Through we need to get some of that in it's here, Ken. Faster <laughs> LTE, more bands. That's up to 150 megabit per second. That's using carrier aggregation, and it's 20 LTE bands. That's more than any other tablet. So it connects at high LTE speeds on more networks around the world. Perhaps the most requested feature from customers is Touch ID. Now, like many of us, if you have Touch ID on your iPhone, you've probably picked up your iPad and put your finger on the home button only to see that it doesn't unlock because you didn't have Touch ID. It's, we get used to it so quickly. Well, now with iPad Air 2, there is Touch ID, and it reads your fingerprint and quickly unlocks your iPad without having to enter the passcode. And it works with our stores, so you can 
purchase in the iTunes Store and the App Store. And it works with the new iOS 8 developer apps that support Touch ID, so you can unlock Evernote or Mint or your day one journal just with your fingerprint. And can you make a payment with it? And as you know, all of us who use iPads, well, we're prodigious shoppers. We love to use our iPad to sit back and surf the web and make purchases, and Good particularly call, with all John. those 675,000 apps, many of them help us make purchases. And now with Touch ID, you'll be able to use Apple Pay to make online purchases. Now this isn't for retail point of sale purchase, this is for online purchasing within all the apps that are gonna support Apple Pay, and there are gonna be many of them growing starting on Monday. So it'll be the best Can way I buy to it in retail online. too? I wanna to use it when I go to Target. I've had Air 2 comes with a brand new iOS 8.1 that Craig just showed us and all the incredible features it has. Now our developers have had a great time using the performance of the A8, A8, A8X chip and taking <laughs> that is hard to all say, the power on iPad 2 to do remarkable things. And developers have too. We've given a few of them early access to the iPad Air 2 and to see what they can do with, it, with their incredible applications. Well, I'd like to show you two of those this morning. The first is a great team. The two, two brothers started a company in Lithuania and they've had a hit application on OS X called Pixelmator. Perhaps you know it. It's a professional quality image editing application. It's been a big hit on the Mac, and now they're here today to show you the work they're doing on iPad. I'd like to bring up Idis to tell you all about it. Thank you. That's a great, uh, thank you. Uh, after two years of work, we are really excited to show you the new Pixel Meter for iPad today. It's a full featured image editing app. We are going to open a 4K image of the Arabian Desert. It's really exciting that we can work so smoothly with large images like this. The new iPad handles those images faster and better than ever before. We created a graphic by using the shadow of the actual oryx in the sand and some text, which we'll bring in as a new layer. I'd like to place it here at the bottom, but I see there is a strike there oryx that would interfere with the graphic. So, let's remove the Oryx right now. We were able to bring our repair tool from our award-winning Mac version to the iPad, and it works fantastic. By simply brushing over the Oryx, our app will take care of removing it, but still maintain the background. That is two times faster on the new iPad compared to iPad Air. Nice. That's pretty cool. Notice how the texture in the sand is intact even though the oryx is gone. Let's place the graphic back at the bottom and size it to fit. Now let's blend the graphic with the background to complement the color of the sand. Next, I'd like to apply a filter to enhance the color and darken the edges a bit. We can adjust the depth and strength of the effect. Notice the very fast response time. So, that's a quick peek of Pixelmator for iPad coming later this month in the App Store. The power of the new iPad is perfect for the new Pixelmator. We've seen improvement of up to three times in many aspects of the app. It's a fantastic pairing that will make image editing a breeze. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But I'm checking on the, uh, on the store and I don't see it. I don't see it. He's, oh. But he, he was comparing the, the old previous versions. one to the new one, Exciting so I don't know. new video editing application that has everyone a buzz. It's called Replay. It's from a bunch of brilliant scientists from France. And to tell you all about it, I'd like to bring up Jeff Boudier to show you what they've been up to. With Replay, you can use your iPad to create amazingly rich videos without knowing anything about editing. With me is my co-founder, Francois. Let's take a look. We all take so many photos, so many videos. Often, we don't have time to do anything with them. Like these videos from a trip. Yeah? Ah. Uh, where's our audio? I don't know. Let's find it. Uh -uh. That's interesting. But uh, the stream is fine. <laughs> okay. 
Well, we're just thinking to seeing these apps. So now the question right. I have is, you know, we're, t we're, we're learning, we learned about the new hardware platform. Now they're just saying, oh, stuff runs really well on this new hardware sure. platform. Which My question is, what about the mini? Okay, we've yeah. seen the new iPad Air 2. So now how about the iPad mini Air 2? Is it going to get all the same stuff? Same uh, processor? There we nice. go. I love how Replay picks the background colors to match the videos. Now I want to add a text slide. Let me show you how easy it is. How about iPad you Mini 3 is what it, it, they, they, it was actually leaked yesterday. So. But does it have all the same junk? Can um, I do all the same we stuff? We get four times faster rendering than on A7. Now, I'm really excited to show you something never done before on mobile. Wait, have there been two <laughs> minutes? Hollywood. Huh? Have there been two minis? See There's a the mini right in the room. Oh, that's right, right, right. With the text. I can even set the lighting color while my movie is playing. This effect is called volumetric lighting and replay renders it in real time on the iPad. This is truly desktop class performance. We believe video creation should be easy and instant. With this new iPad and metal, our vision becomes reality. This new style will be available end of October, and you can get replay for free on the App Store today. We can't wait to see what you'll create. Sweet. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. So those are just two examples from the over 675,000 apps on the App Store that take unique advantage of iPad. And you can see now apps are doing things on iPad a mini a and iMac device. to go. That previously would have taken the highest end Hopefully desktop Hopefully they don't spend an hour do. on those two you things. You can do this anywhere <laughs> you go. So this is the new iPad Air 2. It's already been an hour. We're an hour into this. Yeah, I expect it to be about an hour and a half. Innovation. Next generation retina display with no air gaps and anti-reflective coating. Our second generation 64-bit chip for iPad, the A8X, with 3 billion transistors. The new 8 megapixel EyeSight camera and all those incredible features. The new FaceTime HD camera, ultra fast 802.11 AC wireless, and 20 bands of LTE for fast performance around the world. And of course, the most requested feature, Touch ID. All of this packed into the thinnest iPad we have ever made. You just have to hold it outside when you get a chance to, to, to see just how incredible this is. It, it will blow you away. So if you want to get one, and if you're like me, you're just dying to, what will it cost? Well, first, it <laughs> comes like in silver, space gray, and the new gold that you've seen here. And it starts at $499. That's the price of the previous iPad Air for Wi-Fi with 16 gigs. $599 for 64 gigs. That's $100 less than before. And $699 for 128 gigs. Again, $100 less expensive than before. So much more power. Great new features, thinner device, Cheaper. and more affordable. Yeah. There are also <laughs> cellular versions for $130 more, and that is the new iPad Air 2. At the same time, we have an update today for iPad Mini as well. We Yay! IPad Mini 3. It's the <laughs> Tell me about third it. Generation of iPad Mini. I skipped the retina. Silver, yeah, space but I might go. Gray, oh, gold. why five megapixel and camera? It includes the new Touch ID feature as well. What was yours? Uh, it will start at three ninety nine. They're giving the mini a five meg camera. They're giving the full size an eight meg camera. Right. And have cellular versions as well. And both Why do you have to get Air screwed two, because you want a smaller size? Are made in the most environmentally friendly way possible. We're real, really proud of this. And I always want to point it out. Because they want you to buy the bigger one. No, but I want to carry the smaller. one. I'd pay as much as the bigger one. I just wanted so the those smaller are the size. Two lines of iPad, iPad Air two, iPad uh. Mini three. We're going to keep iPad what's, Mini what's 2 and iPad one? Air in the line and reduce them by $100. What, so the, has the camera? Well, yeah. each it price sucks. Point. I won't buy it now. I well. literally won't buy the and Mini 3 the because Mini it doesn't even have the decent camera. sell it now at an all-new price of just $249. Previously, it was $299. So that now means our lineup has the lowest price point ever for iPad, $249. It means iPad 2, Mini 2, and iPad Air have been reduced by $100. We have an all-new iPad Mini 3 and all-new iPad Air 2 at the high end with more features and capabilities in the thinnest iPad we've ever offered. So a lot of changes, 
up and down the entire line to get iPad Mini 3 and iPad Air 2. You can start to order them tomorrow. We'll take pre-orders tomorrow, October 17th, and they'll begin to ship by the end of next week. So that's iPad. Okay. Oh, now I'm so disappointed. IMAX. I was so happy, and now I'm just so disappointed. <laughs> I think this graphic says a lot in a very simple image right, about first. the things we create, how beautiful they are, how incredibly advanced they are at each category, <laughs> and how each one is pushing on the next. You know what to I want? Be even better. And to I want an update more. to the MacBook Air that has at least two Thunderbolt what a ports. Can be, that you can hold all day long. It then challenges us at the higher end to move those forward as well. And nobody's better at that than Apple. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening with the Mac. We have the best lineup we've ever had. It's the 30th birthday of the Mac this year, and these are the best ever. And their results are fantastic. If you look at Mac compared to the rest of the industry, this is based on the last quarter. The Mac grew 18% year over year, while the rest of the industry didn't do as well. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. And the reason is very simple. Our customers love their Macs. This summer we updated MacBook Air. It got faster, better battery life, better value. You got one. People I love my Air. People like crazy and, and the reviews were off the chart. No! <laughs> Street Journal. The MacBook Air oh, is the best. Here we go. It's a the Wall Street Journal again. It's always target. Joanna Stern too. That's three Wall Street Journal quotes, the at least in one presentation. Performance, they love the MacBook Pro. It well, they can't quote you because um, Meg Whitman quoted and best you. Best of all, that beautiful oh. Retina display. Now, it's been really fun to watch mm. the, the migration of the Retina display. It started with iPhone, moved into iPod Touch, and moved into iPad, and then into the Mac with the MacBook Pro. Well, today we're really happy for you to see the continued march of this incredible retina technology and the next step we're going to take with it. Right. I'll tell you what they're doing very well is the ability to share things from one device to the other. Yes. It makes you, it almost forces you into using the entire ecosystem. Right. Which is the goal. Mm -hmm. So yes. We are so excited to tell you about the all new iMac with Retina display. There has never been a desktop display like this. It is when do we get touch stunning. screen? You know, I've never, never seen a level of detail in a desktop display as you'll see with this iMac. It is truly remarkable. It's a 27 inch display that has 5,120 pixels. Wow. 2,880 yeah. pixels. 15.7 meg million pixels on one display. It is the world's highest resolution display. Now I want one. It's yeah. an incredible feat. I don't know what I do with it. Yeah, you don't need one. Call it the Retina 5K display. I want it. Wow. That's, so want, that's it pretty important. context, we all look at HDTVs all day. They're 1920 by 1080. Let's overlay those This is going to be funny. On top of the Retina 5K display. Look at nice. that. Six there of them. Seven times more pixels on the Retina 5K yeah. display than on your HDTV. Okay. And let's compare that to the new standard 4K digital cinema. And there it is, 496 by 2160. The Retina display still has 67% more pixels. How than much that. is this going to cost? It is <laughs> stunning. What's more remarkable wow. is that work the engineering team to fit those 14.7 mi million pixels into our beautiful iMac design. It's yeah, just Tony B, I'd like a monitor with those thin. specs as well. It's an incredible Just feat of pure engineering. monitor, not... It took a lot of invention. Well, I'm... It starts with the chip that controls the display. I'm assuming you'll be able it's to buy a matching monitor for it. One didn't exist 
to drive this display quickly and efficiently, so our team had to invent one. It started with having to create a new material, oxide TFT, to be able to charge those pixels quickly and evenly across the whole display. It meant taking technology from our Retina iPad display, organic passivation, to reduce crosstalk because those pixels are getting so close together to keep the image really sharp and beautiful. Mm -hmm. It took building a new backlight technology, an LED backlight, that's just as bright as previously but consumes less power and is thinner. And all put together, this new display with four times the number of pixels of the previous version uses almost a third less energy. That's incredible work. And to make it even more beautiful, we use our Apple photo alignment technology to give higher contrast ratios on axis. And a new compensation film, so it looks better off axis too. It is a remarkable feat of engineering. That is. And the most beautiful desktop display for everything you do. I can't wait to see it. Text. It'll incredible. look good, that's it, for sure. It, it will look unbelievable. If you work with <laughs> photos, you have never worked on a desktop display with this level of detail in your photos. That's what I can't wait. If you yeah, love to I'm edit sure. video like here in Final Cut Pro, you've never had the ability to do 4K video editing, pixel for pixel. Did he just say in Final no Cut Pro? For your bins and yeah. timelines. And if you're Craig and you've worked so hard on a beautiful version of OS X, there has never been a display to show off that great new user interface as beautiful as this new Retina 5K display. We have a brief video to tell you a little bit more about it. The Mac enables people to do amazing things. And for many people, it's the most important creative tool that they use. And what we really love doing is making it better. On an iMac, the experience begins with the display. And now we're really proud to introduce the first iMac with a Retina 5K display. With 14.7 million pixels, this goes way beyond HD. It gives the ultimate all-in-one computer the ultimate display. And it means you see incredible detail on a scale that just hasn't been done before on a desktop. We started by moving to an Oxide TFT. We just heard all of this. I know! Oxide TFT is all of this new capability the new 27-inch iMac is by far the most amazing iMac we've ever built. That's true. I'll believe it. But they could have just shown us that video and we didn't have to listen to the whole presentation on it. Yeah, that would have been nice. We just heard the exact same thing <laughs> twice in a row. Yep. That's just disrespectful of our time. Yes, it is. The display we've ever made. But up throughout the product line, we've updated everything to make it the best iMac ever. So if you look inside it, it has the fastest chips we've ever put in an iMac. It starts with a three and a half gigahertz Intel quad core i5, but upgradable to a four gigahertz i7, the fastest ever in an iMac. The graphics have a Radeon R9 M290X, upgradable to a 295X. So how fast is that? The previous fastest chip in an iMac was 2.4 teraflops of compute power. Not bad. This is 3.5 teraflops. He just wanted to use the word teraflop. Four 45% faster than the previous version. I did. <laughs> I.O. is faster as well. It is now Thunderbolt 2, 20 megabit per second bandwidth per port. It's faster storage, standard terabyte fusion drive. And it's all built together, like all of our products, in the most environmentally friendly manner, including supporting the latest Energy Star 6.1. So it's a very efficient desktop product. So what does this amazing state-of-the-art new iMac cost? Well, let's, let's make a comparison. If you've ever tried to buy a, a high-end display, for example, a new 4K oh, great. How much are they going to say this cost? display, not quite as many pixels as the iMac. You can the get one for $350, right? You can get one for $339. That's even bigger. Of $3, no, no, you can get it for <laughs> one ninth really that. To tell you the new one ninth. With Retina 5K display, it's going to cost $24.99. Yeah. Ouch. That's the starting price. I know. That's, it'll really be about $3,000. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot. It's got a three and a half gigahertz i5 standard, Radeon R9 chip, eight gigs of memory, and a terabyte fusion drive. And it starts to ship today. <laughs> Paul says, get ordering, John. So yeah, that, that's, is that is iMac. a lot. The Retina display that is a lot. joins the rest of the iMac line. A 21 and a half inch iMac. Okay, so, so you can oh, still get the others. Those do not have Retina. The new iMac with Retina well, 5K no, those display. 
a 24. Those would be the normal 26, 25, 66 it. by whatever uh, display. Right. incredible images that it produces. There has never been a desktop computer like it. I think it's the perfect fitting to the 30th birthday of Macintosh. We have yeah. one other small update today, and that's a computer that a lot oh, of our customers love. They are oh, here we go. It. It's called Mac Mini. Perhaps you've added one to your own home network. But we have new like six today. of those here in the yeah. office. Updated with faster processors, fourth generation Intel Core processors, faster graphics, Intel Iris and HD Graphics 5000, faster storage, PCIe based flash storage, faster Wi Fi, 8211 AC, and now has two Thunderbolt 2 ports, so it's packed with all the I.O. you need in a very small design. And most important to us, it is not only compact, it is the world's most energy efficient desktop computer. 799 really to 999. Great. A lot of customers choose this for their first Mac. Previously, Mac Mini started at 599. The new, faster, more capable Mac Mini starts at just 499. Oh, wow. They dropped Good. the price. I, because I don't think they sell that many. That mini? It's shipping huh. today as well. So that's our update. I think for they the do. Mac. We buy a lot of them, I'll tell you that. Do, yes. We bought more of those minis than we have anything else for the company. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I think that was a long presentation. And we still have 10 minutes of talk. Is there one more thing? No, that won't do one more thing. Yeah, he this. will. He's going to. Lineup of products that Apple has ever had. And we believe that each one of these play a very important role. People need different types of technology for the way they live their lives. We all do different things. In fact, many of us and many of our customers use more than one of our products every day. Sometimes you want to sit at your desk in front of a huge, beautiful, immersive screen packed with powerful technology. And we've made that much better today with the Retina 5K screen for iMac. Would you rather have 5K Sometimes or touchscreen? Sometimes you want to take screen. that powerful technology touch with screen. you wherever you go. Definitely. And we've made our notebooks even better this year with MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. Sometimes you want to be close to your content, touching it. And we've made that experience even better today with the like iPad that. Air 2, more powerful and incredibly thin. Sometimes you want to hold that powerful technology in the palm of your hand. And there's no better thing for your hand than the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. And soon, you can wear that powerful technology right on your wrist. Yeah. He's like, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, I said it. This incredible <laughs> line of products and the ecosystem that supports them is something only Apple can create. They're designed to be incredible products individually, but they're also designed to work together seamlessly. And because we create both the hardware and the software, we can deliver something that no one else can do. A simple, intuitive, and yes, a magical experience for a customer. <laughs> Still yawning, huh? I am yawning. It is dragging he, on. He's I'm, talking and he's, way yes. too slow. He's Usually, I like Tim Cook, but he doesn't talk this slow all the time. No, he's technology. he's not doing. He's not keeping it interesting. And we are just getting started. I'd like to thank all the teams at Apple that have worked so hard for not only this year. Much of what you see here is multi years of work to bring these products out on top of all the other things that you've seen during the day. They are doing the best work of their lives. And I and the executive team really appreciate it. Okay. All right, that looks to be it. Uh, I think we're done uh, with that Davy boy. So uh, that's all the updates. Let's see, what do you think? What, what, well, did, we, what did we learn today?
Um, we can leave that in the background, I guess, but I, I, I'm not interested anymore. So what do we learn? Uh, that they like to drag things on. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say that that really wore on me today. That, I don't know about everybody hard, else. That was a hard stream. It wasn't just us either. I was watching the chat room. Everybody, and was, everybody like, was like, "Come on, get it's on!" It's boring. With it. Come they on. Spent, it's the they actually spent a lot more time on uh, updates and you know old Thanks stuff than they usually do. I don't but mean to we're say not gonna, we're not gonna go full for a full on wrap up right here because what we're gonna do uh -huh. is. Cancel out of here uh -huh. and do our wrap up, and you guys will be able to download that here shortly. Oh, really? That's today's show. Oh, today's show. Yes. All right. So look for that on your feeds and on YouTube uh, here in the next few hours. Okay, guys. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> We're going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining us, as always. Thanks for hanging out for that boring stream. <laughs> we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.